Welcome back to the Roundtable, I'm Retro Nemo, and today let's talk about the newest episode of OKKO, OK let's watch the pilot. So every series has a pilot, which if you don't know is basically a trial episode to test whether or not the show is going to work. Now it's not uncommon for the show, if it takes off, to air the pilot later in the show's run as its own individual episode. Clarence, regular show, and more recently the Jellies are just a few examples of shows that have re-aired the pilot as their own episodes. A lot of the time what these shows do is add additional footage and other things to make the pilot more fleshed out, though those changes are pretty obvious. And you can always tell by the subtle change in the art style. However, OKKO OK took the concept of the pilot episode in a whole new direction, and is now my favorite reworked pilot, and not to mention episodes of OKKO OK of all time. Now the episode is titled Let's Watch the Pilot, so you can tell what's happening here. The entire episode is framed as a talk show sort of format, with the host being the bombastic Dynamite Watkins. Speaking of the cast, they bring out KO, Enid, and Rat who are actually in this episode, they're actors, completely breaking the fourth wall. It's obvious that out of all of them, KO is the fan favorite. You know, he's the main character, the lovable youngster, he's the Harry Styles of the cast. They talk about how OKKO OK is an extremely popular show that is also, I quote, the most popular show on every network, which you know is completely possible. Yeah, that, that's how it happens, yeah. Then Dynamite hits him with a big old plot twist when she pulls out the original show's pilot, Lakewood Plaza Turbo. They're not just showing the pilot as an episode, they're showing the pilot in the episode. Now initially, they're all surprised and nervous about watching it. I mean, they thought they were amateurs back then, they're embarrassed by it. Sort of like how we're all embarrassed by our elementary school. YouTube channels, you know, we all had one and they were just, ooh, gives me chills. So the three of them begrudgingly agree to watch it. They also don't really have a choice seeing as the host who just sprung it on them randomly, really, it's unprofessional. Now they could have just cut to the full pilot here, I mean, it's called Let's Watch the Pilot after all, but instead the show goes on a full Mystery Science Theater commentary approach and starts to include live commentary from the characters as they're watching it. They even put it up live on the screen behind them, like this is full out. They make fun of Rad for having to use a stunt double in some of his scenes, which really bothers that little fragile ego of his, but things really heat up when Eden makes a comment on how they changed the name of the show from Lakewood Plaza Turbo to OKKO. OK KO OK fires back with how it wasn't his decision, and Eden's like, yeah, right, whatever you say, and things just get worse from there. This entire time, poor Rad's just trying to defend himself from all of the mean people in the audience making fun of him for having a stunt double. I can see why he has a stunt double. That stuff they do in that show is crazy, man. I couldn't do that. I need a stunt double for this job now. I mean, I'm not even on screen half the time. The funniest part of the episode is when Rad throws his chair in an epic show of power and it only flies three inches forward, which kind of goes to show, like, they don't actually have these powers. It's all special effects and these are just actors. And well, I mean, the, the fourth wall is just, it is gone now. It's demolished. It's not even remotely there. The fighting between all of them gets so intense that they actually have to go backstage where Dynamite, being the horrible crafty person she is, sends a camera back there with them. The three of them have an intense heart to heart about everything. They call out KO for being the perfect actor that can do no wrong. They're basically both jealous of him and at the same time hate how perfect he is. But Keio defends himself, saying everything he does is because of his hard work and that he's only working to be as good as them, who he looks up to. They all understand each other a little bit better. It's really heartwarming. They all go back outside, now friends again, and finish the pilot, this time complimenting each other instead of tearing each other down. They all learned a little lesson. Oh, isn't it great? The episode ends with them finally acknowledging the long-ass question of what happened to their weird original noses, and the reveal is, drumroll please, they, they sneezed them off. <laughs> that's, that's the explanation. They sneezed them off. Okay, yep. Overall, this episode was hilarious, original, unexpected, and one of the best uses of the fourth wall breaking I've ever seen. Side note here, I know I've said fourth wall like 800 times. I apologize, it's just that there's not really another name for it. Unless there is. Oh, God, I'm just gonna stop talking. But for instance, e JQ voices both Rad and Daryl. Well, in the episode, they make a joke about Rad overdubbing Daryl's lines, and they cut to Daryl in the crowd who, in this real life universe, has a much deeper voice. Little jokes like that really make the episode stand out as something making jokes about the entire television industry. Like this is on par with when Chowder lost the animation budget and they had to do a car wash in order to make enough money to get it back. They didn't fight any crazy villains this episode, they didn't bring up anything about being a hero. This episode was literally about acting and it was still great. Clearly the crew knows how to make a more experimental episode and still have it be a classic. But what do you guys think? Did you like the episode? Did you not like it? Have you even seen it, let us know in the comments down below. If you want more Roundtable, tweet to me at it's Retro Nemo or at Roundtable Vids for our official Twitter and Facebook and Instagram under the same name. 
Follow our Snapchat Roundtable YT for little goose we captured throughout the day. If you're feeling extra generous, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you're feeling extra social, check out our Discord and Amino apps. If you want some fresh clothing, check out the Roundtable store and, and buy my merchandise. It's really cool. I, I really like it. Please just buy it. You're supporting the show and you got some cool clothes. If you like the video, give it a like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Hit that notification bell to join the notification squad. I'm Retro Nemo. This is your daily dose of cartoon content and my boss is creeping up on me with a knife. Wait, does it blink red when it's recording? What? Oh no.